documented multiple times on, on the Bradshaw Road area of Montgomery County. Um, I have actually documented where the sediment is coming from. It has been reported to DEQ. And upon talking to DEQ staff, I get told it's not the pipeline, it's the railroad. The railroad that has been there for 30 years. I have been familiar with this area for 30 years and have never seen sediment like this in our creeks until the pipeline started construction. Um, so DEQ is blaming somebody else or the pipeline is blaming and DEQ is buying it that it's somebody else um, that's putting this sediment into the creek. Um, I've been documenting this for a year there. I've seen work on the slopes during during rainstorms. I've seen um, I've seen uh, sediment running off of the banks and into the creek directly, uh, putting so a, a lot of sediment into the creek. Bradshaw Creek drains into the Roanoke, the North Fork of the Roanoke River, which drains into the Roanoke River, which is a water source for our area. Um, also, habitat for the Roanoke log fort, log perch, which this sediment is uh, is definitely. Um, uh, going to be affecting. Is there any more? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the arrow. Do you want me to show you? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is, uh, this shows how water has it actually drained off of the right of way uh, down into a little um, unnamed tributary and had actually collected on the, um, the bank of the creek and, and sat there. You can actually see there was probably a couple inches of sediment in, in this spot. Um, DEQ has seen this. Uh, it was presented to them at the State Water Control Board. Again, I've reported this area multiple times, and they have not shut this down. Um, and it's apparent that, uh, from what I understand, the shutdown over um, in Montgomery County the other day is because there was a lack of sediment and er erosion control, a complete lack of any sediment and erosion control. So apparently, the bar has been set so low <laughs> that there must not be any there in order for DEQ to act. It doesn't matter if it's failing. It doesn't matter if you see silt socks yeah. that have separations in them where mud is clearly mm. flowing through. It doesn't matter if you show them pictures of mud flowing over top of a silt sock. They continue to make excuses for the pipeline um, and allowing them to um, to put uh, sediment into our waters that we enjoy. I just spent the weekend with my grandson playing in this creek. Um, he found dead fish in that creek as we were playing out there. Um, this breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because this is my playground. This is where I grew up playing. This is where my grandchildren come to play. My children play. And the state of Virginia is not protecting our playground, our water sources, and our lives and our land. And they need to be protecting us and not this out-of-state company that has come in here and acted criminally by um, polluting our water with their sediment and, and who knows what else. <laughs> um, this is just another picture I have of the stream that's actually dumping sediment into um, into Bradshaw Creek. Well, you physically went to Richmond in June. I, I actually physically went to the State Water Control Board in June. For these pictures were printed out in large format to, to demonstrate to them and what were we told? Well, you're not, you're not, uh, you're, you're not submitting your reports in a timely manner, and we can't get out there. Well, when it rains on a Friday night, and I submit my report on a Friday night, and there's nobody in the DEQ office to attend to it until Monday morning, what are we supposed to do? We're using our time, our resources. We're taking time away from our families. We're taking time away from. Um, things that we have to take care of home. I actually went out and did this on a night when I found out my cat was very sick. I should have been home taking care of my cat. But instead, I was out there documenting the violations of the Mountain Valley Pipeline to submit to DEQ in a timely manner and still got all manner of excuses from them. They are not listening to us. And we need to speak up louder and, uh, and more forcefully and have them uh, listen to us. This is water that was actually running off of the bank coming off of the right of way. Um, and I think this is the other picture here. This is more that was running off of the right of way. Um, and this is running directly off of the right of way here and into Bradshaw Creek over this bridge. Uh, Mountain Valley Pipelines, is, uh, the solution for this is to put straw on the bank that is this deep. That was their, that was their solution, was to put straw on it. That's going to stop this water from running off uh, when it rains again.
Um, so uh, we definitely need more people to get out there and help us document it. Um, the people that are doing it are spending a lot of time. It's really easy. There's simple apps you can download to your phone. As Russell said, there are a lot of people who will help you, that will show you the ropes, show you how to do it. If you drive by a pipeline site, a construction site, anytime, uh, you can, you can you always, most people have their phone with them. It's really easy to stop and take a picture if you see something. Um, so if people would like to join us and help us monitor this and continue to document it, um, so that we have this all on record, uh, that would be absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Thank you.